Yahusha, Joshua 24. And Yahusha gathered eth all the tribes of Yashedael to Shechem, and called for the elders of Yashedael, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers, and they presented themselves before Elohim. And Yahusha said unto all the people, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashedael, Your fathers dwelt on the other side of the flood in old time, even Tarach, the father of Avraham, and the father of Nehor. And they served other Elohim. And I took Eth your father, Eth Avraham, from the other side of the flood, and led him throughout all the land of Canaan, and multiplied Eth his seed, and gave him Eth Yitzhak. And I gave unto Yitzhak Eth Yaachov, and Eth Esau. And I gave unto Esau Eth Mount Seir to possess it. But Yaachov and his children went down into Mitzrayim. I sent Eth Moshe also, and Eth Ahran, and I plagued Eth Mitzrayim, according to that which I did among them. And afterward I brought you out. And I brought Eth your fathers out of Mitzrayim, and ye came unto the sea, and the Mitzrayim, pursued after your fathers with chariots and horsemen unto the Red Sea. And when they cried unto El Yahuwah, he put darkness between you and the Mitzrim, and brought eth the sea upon them, and covered them. And your eyes have seen eth what I have done in Mitzrim. And ye dwelt in the wilderness a long season. And I brought you into the land of the Amorim, which dwelt on the other side of the Yardan, and they fought with you. And I gave them into your hand, that ye might possess eth their land, and I destroyed them from before you. Then Balach, the son of Sippor, king of Moab, arose and warred against Yashadael, and sent and called Balaam, the son of Beor, to curse you. But I would not hearken unto Balaam, therefore he blessed you still. So I delivered you out of his hand. And ye went over Eth the Yardan, and came into, rather, unto Yericho, and the men of Yericho fought against you, the Amorim, and the Perizim, and the Canaanim, and the Chittim, and the Girgashim, the Chivim, and the Yavasim, and I delivered them into your hand. And I sent Eth the hornet before you, which drove them out from before you, even the two kings of the Amorim, but not with your sword nor with your bow. And I have given you a land for which ye did not labor, and cities which ye built not, and ye dwell in them, of the vineyards and of olive yards, which ye planted not, do ye eat. Now therefore fear Eth Yahuwah, and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away Eth the Elohim, which your fathers served on the other side of the flood, and in Mitzrayim, and serve ye Eth Yahuwah. And if it seem evil unto you to serve Eth Yahuwah, choose you Eth this day, whom ye will serve, either Eth the Elohai, which your fathers served, that were on the other side of the flood, or eth the Elohai of the Amarim, in whose land ye dwell.
But as for me and my house, we will serve at Yahuwah. And the people answered and said, Far be it that we should forsake the Eth, rather forsake Eth Yahuwah, to serve other Elohim. For Yahuwah Eloheinu, he it is that brought us up, Eth, and our fathers out of the land of Mitzrayim, from the house of bondage, and which did Eth those great signs in our sight, and did guard us in all the way wherein we went and among all the people through whom we passed. And Yahuwah drove out from before us Eth all the people, even Eth the Emorim, which dwelt in the land. Therefore will we also serve Eth Yahuwah, for he is our Elohim. And Yahusha said unto the people, Ye cannot serve Eth Yahuwah, for he is a holy Elohim. He is a jealous El. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If ye forsake Eth Yahuwah and serve strange Elohai, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you. After that, he has done you good. And the people said unto El Yahusha, Nay, but we will serve at Yahuwah. And Yahusha said unto the people, Ye are witnesses against yourselves that ye have chosen you at Yahuwah to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. And now therefore put away, said he, at the strange Elohai, which are among you, and incline your heart unto El Yahuwah Elohai of Yasher El. And the people said unto El Yahusha, Eth Yahuwah Eloheinu, will we serve, and his voice will we obey. So Yahshu, rather so, Yahusha cut a covenant with the people that day and set them a statute and an ordinance in Shechem. And Yahusha wrote at these words in the Sefer of the Torah of Elohim, and took a great stone and set it up there under an oak that was by the sanctuary of Yahuwah. And Yahusha said unto all the people, Behold, this stone shall be a witness unto us, for it has heard at all the words of Yahuwah which he spoke unto us. It shall be therefore a witness unto you, lest ye deny your Elohim. So Yahusha let at the people depart, every man unto his inheritance. And it came to pass after these things that Yahusha, the son of Nun, the servant of Yahuwah, died, being a hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Timnath, Sarach, which is in Mount Ephraim, on the north side of the hill of Gaash. And Yashar El served at Yahuwah all the days of Yahusha and all the days of the elders that outlived Yahusha and which had known at all the works of Yahuwah that he had done for Yashara'el. And at the bones of Yosef, which the children of Yashara'el brought up out of the Mitzrayim, Buried they in Shechem, in a parcel of ground which Yaakov bought of the sons of Chamor, the father of Shechem, for a hundred pieces of silver. And it became the inheritance of the children of Yosef. And Eleazar, rather Eleazar, 
the son of Aharon, died. And they buried him in a hill that pertained to Pinikach, his son, which was given him in Mount Ephraim.